Last year in his rookie season, Larry Coker was able to lift the ultimate prize in college football aloft following a Rose Bowl victory over Nebraska. Minutes away from another opportunity to go to the title game with Willis McGahee. Is he playing his final game as a hurricane? It is senior day. 20 were introduced. None received an ovation louder than number 11. Kenny Dorsey, 37 and 1 as a starter. As he meets his family at midfield, he's hoping for another shot at a national championship. Miami won the toss and deferred. It's 78 degrees. Forecasters for showers. You might have seen on the camera lens as Swanee talked to Larry. Some sprinkles coming down right now. The kick out of the end zone as Virginia Tech will have to work from the 20. First snap of the ball game is the tight end. Jeff King swaps to the right side. Lee Suggs is the tailback. He'll get the call right into the thick of that hurricane defense. The Nivea for men starting lineup. Here's the group up front. Jake Grove, they say, is about as nasty as you'll find in the Big East. Davis, Gibson, Owens, and Martin join him. Two of them seniors on the front wall. Suggs, the senior captain, is the tailback. Eastlick leads the way. King, the tight end. Wilford and Witten are the wide receivers. And the right tackle, Martin, is a true freshman going against McDougal. Out of the shotgun. Here's Suggs trying to take it wide, and the Canes defense brings him down. This time it's for a loss. Here's how it looks in this group, all seniors. Green, Walters, Joseph, McDougal up front, and they're deep with their second line. Vilma's the leading tackler, flanked by Williams and McIntosh. The secondary's been surprisingly good. Jennings and Roll on the corners, and Taylor and Sykes are the safeties. But he's ranging John Vilma. He might be coming on a blitz. He'll back out of it. Randall in the pocket, in trouble. Down he goes. Virginia Tech is three and out to open their series. Burns. Line drive spiral. Taken at the 36. Harris with a dance. Now comes to the near side. Got a wall. Down the sideline. Spins back inside. He stepped out of bounds, but a great return. Personal foul on Miami. 15-yard penalty from the end of the play. First down. That's, that's, you're right. But they start at the 36. Do they want the quick strike? Dorsey down the middle. Inside the 15. Andre Johnson. When you need a quarterback to make a play or not to make a mistake, he's been there 37 out of 38 times. First down. Goes again to Johnson. Tiptoes out of bounds at the 5. Up front. Jerko, Haji Razuli, and Brett Romberg are the seniors. Joseph Myers and Carey join him on the front wall. McGahee, the tailback. Hill, the fullback. Kellen Winslow will be big today. We expect it. Tight end Johnson and Parrish are the wide receivers. And Kellen Winslow, the leading receiver coming into this game with 44 catches. That has been matched now by Johnson with back-to-back -back grabs. McGahee, left side. Got down inside the two. The four up front with Colas Lewis and Adibi. The linebackers, they got Vegas Robinson back a couple of games ago. That's helped. McKee and Manning join him. Manning scored a touchdown last year in this game. Hall, Hardy, Pyle, and Whitaker is the secondary. Two first and goal Miami. Their opening drive. McGahee puts his head down. Got close, but not quite. Looking for his 22nd touchdown, possibly. Second and one. He's got it. Touchdown, Miami. Second rushing score of the year. Field to go on their opening drive and look out. Seaver's extra point is good. As Bob said, short field. Didn't take long. Never seems to for the Hurricanes. They're on the board already with 11-13 to go first quarter. They lead by a touchdown. 34 of 60. 17 of them touchdowns. Seavers kick. This one's returnable. No, it's not. Richard Johnson saw it take a bad hop at about the three and let it go. First down again. Virginia Tech now their second offensive drive. From the 20. Coming up throwing, not to the fullback, and Eastlake's got it. Second and five. 
Virginia Tech, here's the option. Bob talked about it. Suggs on the corner, and he's got the corner and the first down. You knew you'd see that play early. First down, Hokies at the 32. It's a draw play to Jones. And Jones stood up and down and eight. Opening quarter, just five minutes old. Miami already leads by a touchdown. Randall, play action, lofts it out for his fullback incomplete for third and eight. And now it's Randall trying to change things up at the line. It's a noisy place to do it. Option again. He'll keep it this time. Lost the ball. Fumble. Who's got it? Miami. First down. Would have had it at the 42 of Virginia Tech. Instead from their own 43. Draw play. Here goes McGahey across midfield. A second down, long two. Dorsey to throw. Deep sideline. Andre Johnson's wide open. And he's gone. Touchdown, Hurricane. <laughs> 49 yard touchdown strike. Somebody blew a coverage. Well, they fooled him with the formation. It's his ninth touchdown catch of the year. It's 14 to nothing, Miami, in the opening six minutes. Larry Coker's team already up 14, thinking about Tempe. Johnson will take this one from the five. Runs right into a wall of orange at about the 19 and as they hooked up and Dorsey and Johnson have now likewise after that 49 yarder. Here's Suggs on the option pitch. And that has been the best play. And I don't think anybody did it better at Miami than Willis McGahee has done this year. And Jones is stuffed this time. Vilma. National championship with Miami looking on. Here's the pitch and this time it's a loss of four. And trail roll. Second three and out. Again, and not a very good punt. Roscoe Parrish took the last one 42 yards. He's not going to be able to touch this one as he gets out of the way, and Kevin Jones will down it at about the 29-yard line. This time they start at their own 29-yard line. Straight up the middle, across the 30. That great play by their defense, forcing two three and outs out of three possessions. Dorsey, now they're getting some heat on him. And out of the pocket, he does not run off, and he gets what he can and ran out of bounds. Third down and three. Three wide out, grouping for Dorsey. Quick throw outside, incomplete, intended for Parrish. Buddy in the country, and Capshaw's had three blocks. High snap! He just got it out of there. Got a flag. Hall on the other end, and a flag down there as well, as it's going to be a halo violation on one end and a roughing the punter on the other. Running into the kicker on the defense. Halo violation on the kicking team. The penalty's offset. Repeat fourth down. That's right. It's a team. They got close again, but he got a beauty up and hung it down to the 15 yard line. And then hit from behind. After the play was over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness on Virginia Tech. Penalty will be half the distance to the goal. First down. From the 14, Jones in at the tailback spot. Two tight end set again going down for a loss, but he broke a couple of would be tackles and he still lost four. Yeah, I, I, I couldn't tell him anything that Larry hasn't already told him. The only thing is, I said, you know, I've been talking to the team for 35, 40 years, and you know, it's always one play at a time. Don't worry about what's next week or what's down the road. All right, I know they're glad to have you back. Thank you, Coach. All right, Lynn. On a third and four, Randall out in the flat to Jones. Nice cut back to the inside, and Jones has a first down. Now Suggs back in there. Randall will keep it up the middle. Up 14. Second down and six. Again, Suggs in motion. And Randall again will keep it. We can even talk. Third down and three. Play action again, flaring it out of the backfield, and it's Hume's a fullback, and he's got plenty of room to work. Go to that quick opening draw to Suggs, and they won't get the playoff. Penalty markers down. Dead ball foul, illegal substitution on the defense. 
Five yard penalty. Remains first down. Seventh play of the Hokies drive. Here comes a blitz from the corner. The handoff is to Suggs out of that shotgun. I take either one of them. Hold on. <laughs> Second and four. Random. Got a man open the middle. It's Milton. And at the 24. First down. Hokies have something working here. Option. Randall got away from the first would be tackler, which was Will Fork, under a minute in the first quarter. Both wide receivers down to the near side, and that's where Randall's looking and throws complete. And it's going to be another first down. He's through for over 500 yards. Big East record and five touchdown passes. Here he's going to run a quarterback draw on first down. And he gets upended as he got inside the 10 at the end of the first quarter. All Miami, but Virginia Tech is threatening. They're three quarters away from a date in the big game. 14-0 Hurricanes. This is the 12th play of the Virginia Tech drive, though. At the Canes 10, Randall pump fakes and now takes off to the end zone. Did he get there? Not quite. Lee Suggs has scored in 25 straight football games. Not this time, though. At the one. Here's Suggs to the end zone. No. Did he get there? Yes. Sean Taylor ran him out, but he hit the pile on it. It's touchdown, Virginia Tech. His 18th rushing touchdown of the year. He kind of relaxes here at the end. Or the point after. Snaps a little wide, but the kick is good. And just a minute, 10 seconds into the second quarter, Virginia Tech's made it a ball game. Randall's pitch to Suggs from a yard out, 14-7 Canes. One to Humes on third downs that kept it going. Big drive there to answer. Jared Payton runs up on the kick return. And Payton up the middle and out to the 30-yard line. After Virginia Tech's long scoring march. Big Winston there at fullback. Here's McGahee trying to cut back. And got back to the line of scrimmage. Uh, he's a very bright guy also. Second and ten. Straight up the middle is McGahee. And almost snapped it out for a first down. Third down and inches. And it's McGahee trying to go wide for it. And he just at the end squirted through. Super Bowl championship for Don Shula and my partner to my right. And on first down, Dorsey pumps one way and comes back the other, and a nice play to break it up. There's a lot of pressure on the Hurricanes, but they're such a great football team, and it's been a tremendous year. And, you know, they jumped out ahead, but now it's a ball game. All those uh, coaches down there were in different positions. I think too many people assume that he took over a great program, and uh, no. it's just been pushing the button. Hasn't changed a bit. <laughs> no, he hasn't. He hasn't changed a bit. From the 40 after the penalty, Dorsey Dean Scott Johnson again. And it's first down Miami. Okay, touche. <laughs> it got even real quick. Boy, you're not kidding. <laughs> Andre Johnson over 100 yards already. Dorsey to him again and oh. just overshot him. All right, and he took his time and uh, he studied under a good tight end last year. Now it's his turn. Yes. Kind of follow Jeremy Shockey around like a puppy, Rob Chudzinski said. And he said, <laughs> Miami trying to get another touchdown drive going here. Third down and five. Paris in motion toward the ball. Dorsey over the middle of McGahee trying to get to that first down marker. I think he got there. The drive has gone over four minutes and 52 yards so far. Play action. Dorsey going to the end zone. And going to have a pass interference. Then all of a sudden got a little burst of speed. This ball is imminently catchable, and I question the flag. Yeah. Extra tight end in there. Winslow's back. The handoff's McGahee. He's in. Touchdown, Miami. What a weapon. As he continues to pile on the rushing touchdowns, his 23rd of the year. His own ongoing record. Right now, say, hey, all right, we're going to go down and score. Extra point is up and good. 9.27 till halftime. Defending champions have won 33 in a row. They're looking for number 34 here at home. chance at this one. Takes a high hop at the five. Johnson straight up the middle. Not a bad return. First down for the 26. Jones in there at tailback. Nice play fake out of bootleg. Randall will keep it. He's got a little seam to work with. 
Good runner. And he got almost 10. It was the heat. The heat is certainly a, you know, a, a real... Starting to unpile bodies, they do. Jones put it on the ground, and McDougal's the guy that scooped it up. As they might try to score right here at the 35. Dorsey dumps it off. McGahee, nice cut, left one man <laughs> holding air, and he's out of bounds at about the 19. 38 games as a starter. He's never had a grass stain on his butt, I don't think. <laughs> here he is, play action, going to the end zone to Johnson. Just overshot it. Had him by a step. He's attempted seven passes to Johnson. Has Dorsey. He's caught four of them. McGahee, this time, showing his power. With 7.25 left in the half, third down and three. McGahee again. Waits for his blockers. Now he breaks three. First and goal. At the three. McGahee's got two already today. This time, not quite. Brought in the Super Bowl like the previous year and not win. Henley markers down before the snap. Is second down and goal for the Hurricanes. McGahee on a counter, and he's in. Touchdown, Miami. McGahee continues to add to the touchdown totals. And it is 27 to 7. As Bob said, you just can't do it against a team this good. And it's 28 to 7. The 102 year old company. Getting some great shots above the Orange Bowl. Johnson from the six. Richard Johnson had a nice return last time. He's got a better one here. Look out. Seavers is a man to beat, and he's got him. Johnson trying to take it all away. Down the sideline inside the 20. Touchdown. No. No, he's out at the one foot. <laughs> Longest kick return for Virginia Tech this year. First and goal. Option. Randall. Nothing doing there. Suggs, the tailback. Randall throwing a fade. Wilford trying to come down with it. It's broken up. He got wanted that. that. Right. You got that right, Swanee. Third down and goal. The wind is picked up. So is the rain. Randall. Getting some heat. He got rid of it. Touchdown. Got it to Sean Witten. That was a great improvisation by the quarterback. He wanted to throw it back across the field. That's Witten's first touchdown ever. Worley for the extra point. It's up and it's good. 515. Remaining in the half. Brian Randall, as Bob said, he improvised. He found number 26, and it's 28-14. The dogs are third in the BCS. They play Arkansas in the SEC title game tonight in Atlanta. From the six-yard line, Jared Payton again. And Payton got out across the 25. To First down, Miami from its own 26. Dorsey rolling and throwing and completes it to Parrish. And he's never been hurt. He's never missed a start at the University of Miami. He gives it on a little Statue of Liberty looking play to McGahee on the left side. And McGahee got out. In interceptions with 20. They were plus eight on their turnover ratio today. That's been Look scored. Out. Here's a sideline streak. Roscoe Parrish cuts back inside. One man to beat. Here comes a hole. A whole flock of them, I guess. They bring him down at the 10. 58 yards, a career-long reception for Parrish. Now back to the ground they go. McGahee looking for his fourth touchdown. Another scoring drive. All you had to do was blink your eyes twice, and Miami's in the end zone again. Seaver's extra point is good. Just... Holding on the offense. Ball be replayed from the 13-yard line. So it's on their chest. The extra point is still good. 316 remaining in the half. The defending national champions leading Virginia Tech 35 to 14. Catch a play on the ball. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. That's good, Swan. That's good. <laughs> Seavers kick. 
Johnson took the last one 92 yards. This one he's going to have to take a knee. <laughs> At the 20 now four wideouts. Here comes a blitz. Randall flips it out to Wilford and he's got about nine yards. I appreciate that. <laughs> On second and short Randall stands in now takes off. And he got the first down. And Randall. Throwing Johnson was open he threw it behind him second down and ten. Randall scrambles out of trouble again. Now he's got the corner in the first down and goes out of bounds. Challenge him for the position next year. He's got 57 yards rushing does Randall so far. Blitz. Suggs was open at the 44 second down and ten. Hokies trying to come up with some more points here before halftime. They're going to need all they can get, and he zips one into Wilford. Nice catch. Second down, a long yard. Back in Miami territory. Randall will take off again because he needs the first down and knows it and heads to the sideline, trying not to take a shot. And he does in pass efficiency. Shovel pass. That's incomplete. Not a loose ball. That's all coming up at halftime. Here's a blitz on Randall. Going deep out and his receiver third and ten from the shotgun will Fort getting some pressure now Randall squirts through the middle here he goes again Brian Randall got a block Witten trying to get another one for him and he's out of bounds down at the 23 here's a shovel pass again Bob said you got to complete that one yeah. but you got to have somewhere to run look at all the canes up close Randall throwing for Wilford and he's got this one. There's the big catch he was looking for. First and goal for the Hokies. Randall quarterback draw. No going down for a loss. Antrell roll second and goal at the seven. Randall rolling right throwing that way but it's over everybody's head. We'll give you an idea of the impact here. Here's the guy that played the game last year and was intercepted four times as the starter hasn't played much because Randall's been the man not not easy coming in in this situation third and goal at the seven the senior Grant Knoll in the lineup going to throw a fade to the corner Wilford goes up and gets it. it touchdown took it away from him that's that's what he wanted wanted to make up for last year's ball game and it's in the same kind of corner over there and it's to the same quarterback yeah. Extra point is up and good. 24 seconds. Swatting. 24 seconds remaining in a half. Got a wild one going on. The Orange Bowl. Line drive that hit one of the up men. And it's a tight end. Winston. And Winston. Oh, everything is uh, 30th year anniversary related here today as Kenny Dorsey takes a knee. Final play of the half. It's been an exciting one. Miami. Every time Virginia Tech made a push came right back. Virginia Tech's probably got to have to be happy that it's halftime because they just scored a huge touchdown. They don't have to worry about Miami coming back and stuffing another one down. Them. It is their house. They've won 21 straight here. They lead 35 21 as we head to the halftime report. Here's John and Terry fellas. Waller up's got it teed up and the second half underway. Andre Johnson so dangerous as a receiver in the first half. Now here is a return man. Broke a couple of tackles and got out to about the 24 yard line. 33 straight wins hanging on this team. Dorsey deep ball to Johnson's open. Trying to break free of D'Angelo Hall. And it's first and goal Miami just like that. Just throw it to me I can beat him. McGahee's got four touchdown runs today. McGahee almost had another one. With almost 200 yards and two scores. McGahee looking for number five. Not on that carry. And another touchdown. Third and goal. McGahee. Right side. Another touchdown. Number five for Willis McGahee on the day. Number 26 rushing on the season. You don't think they have confidence in that running game? They get down in there, they three times in a row, they just pound it. You sound like a coach, because that's exactly what both coaches told him. 42 to 21. Johnson got the big chunk defenders, and they were just, looked like they were just handing him out. 
Richard Johnson took a 92 yard kick return earlier in this game. This one from the three and only to the 22. Now it's 42 21 just a couple minutes into the third quarter. Randall's back in there though. And it's the fullback easily out across the 25 turned to 14 points in a hurry. Second down at six. Sun's trying to peep through the showers. Randall on the option keeper into the secondary and loose ball again. And Miami's got it again. Jerome McDougal help this Miami offense. You can't give them this great a field position. Does Miami try to go for it in one play? Nope. Draw play. McGahee broke a tackle and got almost 10. He might have. McGahee ties a school record with his fifth rushing touchdown, by the way, that's been around since 1933. Great leader for us and practicing so well. You watch him practice. The practice is just like a game for Willis. You see him run. That's the way he run, runs in practice. And that's the way he runs in games. He just wants to play every down. Yeah. Second down to 10. And here he comes. And there he goes. McGahee. He's gone. Six touchdowns. <laughs> 31 yards. And even half dozen touchdown runs for McGahee. Trying to make a Heisman case. Seavers. Extra point is good. 49 to 21. What a show. A long way to go. Seavers kick. Johnson will take it at the five. Trying to cut outside again, and they've got him bottled up before he can even get to the 20. Single season, single game rushing touchdowns of six. Whistle stop play. And it's illegal procedure. First and 15. Virginia Tech backed up to its own 12. Randall, pressure coming. Going deep for Witten, and he overshot him. One following yet another Virginia Tech turnover. Randall. Flares it out. Jones, nice cut back to the inside. The third team running back, and Portis went to the pros, and Gore got hurt. Third and 11, Randall in trouble, and hammered under a wave of orange. Stands at his own goal line, and it's blocked. They got it. They got it, and they've got it. I think Sean Taylor may have blocked it. In your face, Virginia Tech. The ball, by the way, went one yard. Dorsey looking for a corner route to Johnson comes back to his safety valve Kellen Winslow Winslow spin move to the one they haven't needed Kellen today Peyton is a tailback in the eye wearing a very familiar number 34 he wants to throw back to Dorsey and it's intercepted and this is going to be a touchdown the other way that's gone Willie Pyle that's it's going to take it 99 yards for a Virginia Tech touchdown. And it should go the other way. That was an awful call. Penalty markers all over the field. After it was the after the touchdown. Over, personal foul, unnecessary roughness. Up my ante. Penalty will be enforced on the try. It just wasn't a good pass. That yeah. penalty was against Virginia Tech, and the extra point is blocked. The referee, and you saw it, he said that the personal foul was on Miami. But Virginia Tech is on the board again on a long interception return. And the kick will go to Jarrett Payton at the goal line. And Payton, who just threw that pass the Hurricanes are thinking about the Buckeyes at least their fans are but we still got a quarter and a half to go and Dorsey on the give to McGahee and McGahee finds another opening and he gets out for about eight more well thanks Brad it's uh, been a great football season for our young people our coaches and players have worked hard and there's no doubt about it that uh, you're seeing a great football game out there today Hurricanes with a first down here from 
just outside their own 43 yard line and Kenny Dorsey with a pump fake and wants to go deep down the sideline again and it's incomplete after the pigskin classic and uh, now we have a little bit of rest to prepare and and we'll see if he can get healthier impressed have you been by Dorsey and McGahee well they're great football players there's no question about it. Dorsey has won just about every football game he's played and there's a them here in our practices this week he just keeps getting better Cap shot a punt finally Virginia Tech forces a punt the Angelo Hall will take it at the 11 looking for a block got one big one and now he's got the sideline the Angelo Hall got a block Cap shot's out of the play Jared Payton to beat and Hall is tripped up Jared Payton saved a touchdown in the great balance Here's a first down at the 18 yard line Virginia Tech trying to capitalize on the punt return Randall out in the flat looking for the handle was Humes and now second down and 10 and Randall all wrapped up again four wide receivers for Randall down the middle Witten's got it nice cutback first down it's going to be first and goal at the four. First and goal at the four. On the option, Randall, late pitch to Jones, got a block. Not quite. Drag down. The spell play Miami in all likelihood, unless Virginia Tech can muster some kind of amazing comeback in the Hurricanes. The ball's loose again. I think it's been blown dead. Third down and goal. They need this one to stay in the hunt. Virginia Tech, that is. Single coverage down here at the bottom to Wilford. Go alley -oop. And incomplete. They've got all the they've got all the tricks. They were using them out here yesterday with this field goal team. They've got a shovel pass in here. This is going to be a kick. And it is going to be good. So they add three to cut it to 19. Partner, we got 79 points going. And we got another quarter. I, I know. <laughs> That's something. Peyton from the six. Garrett waits for his blockers and got across the 30. Mercy, the quarterback knew this and intentionally looked that way and pumped that way. Funny, gets him out of bad plays. He checks into good plays. Here's McGahee cutting outside. He's got more than 10 more again. Dorsey, if you're checking his stats, 275 through the air and a touchdown. McGahee again. And only about a yard more. And this is his third year at Miami. He would have two more years to play if he wanted. And now Jared Payton takes it. Andre Johnson has been huge today. He's up to the top of your screen. Dorsey directing traffic. And, and it's delay a game against Miami. He's a fear. Fear of losing motivates him more than anything. Here he is in the pocket. Got hit as he threw it. He's intercepted here, though. And here's Ronnie L. Whitaker. And Whitaker, Andre Johnson's tracking him down from behind. I don't think he knew number five was behind him. Just inside the Miami 10. Suggs cuts back. Suggs, touchdown. It ain't over yet. You know, this is the same thing that happened in that game last year that we did in Blacksburg. Miami got way ahead and then just kind of put on the uh, in cruise control. Touchdown number two for Suggs. Extra point is good. It's now a 12 point game. So Virginia Tech hanging with the number one team in the country. Yeah. Long game for Andre Johnson. The ball just snatched out of there by Whitaker is turned into a touchdown. One of the up men takes the kick return and busts it out almost to the 45 yard line. Good field position though from the 44 yard line. McGahee boy just as quick as a cat on that cut outside. Nice open field tackle. We played three quarters but if it's anything like the first three the fourth is going to be fun so don't go anywhere. ABC Sports presentation of college football will return after this message and a word from our ABC stations. That's right. In the last 162 games leading at the end of three. McGahee to the 50 from the midfield strike. They'll keep it on the ground. McGahee. And he got it, I think. Close. If they just run it in. 
Here's McGahee with both hands wrapped around the football. You think he doesn't know what ball security is about? And the clock in their favor. McGahee again, both hands wrapped around the ball. Again, a first down. He has carried it. Miami with a first down at the Virginia Tech 30-yard line. You got single coverage up the top. They're going to keep running. They're going to keep running. McGahee again. A couple more. Pretty much second down and eight. McGahee. They just keep running the horse. You got single coverage. Dorsey. Near side of Johnson. First down on the sideline in front of D'Angelo Hall. Still his tall, skinny kid. He had a bag of fast food in one hand and a big Coke in the other. <laughs> he hasn't changed much. <laughs> Second down at seven at the ten. McGahee tripped up. Nice play. A lot of guys up here. Dorsey to Winslow. Touchdown. Kellen says, I've been around. That was a great drive for Miami. They reversed the system, the thinking of Virginia Tech. They wanted to take some time off the clock. An arrow right in their chest on that pass from Dorsey to Winslow. Seavers extra point is good. 55 to 37. Dorsey's second touchdown pass of the day. A rocket to his all-star tight end. And, uh, what was uh, the coach telling us yesterday about? I said it earlier. Shockey? Followed Shockey around like yeah. a puppy dog yeah. last year, and Shockey taught him how to play tight end. 300 yard day, two touchdowns. Here's a kick. Johnson trying to track it down and can't get there. Virginia Tech will work from the 20. They are 10 minutes away from seeing their team go to the championship game again. Randall off a of play action. Eastlake, they've been wide open with that throw out to the fullback out in the flat all day long. You got to take care of business, put them away. And to Kellen, you got to get your head around a little bit faster on those passes. You can't wait until the ball gets in your hands. You got to get your head around a little bit faster. That's what he used to do. The 43-yard line. Quarterback draw. Randall. And he might have gotten the first down. Or the son of a coach has. When he tells you something, you know that it's right. Here's Suggs on the option pitch. Nice play. Virginia Tech was sort of hoping for snow flurries today down here. They didn't get it. Randall. Oh, he's smothered by McDougal. Randall from the gun. Pressured. Buys himself some time, but here comes the speed of that front wall. He had one return, 42 yards. That by Parrish, who's going to track this one down on the run at the 16. Parrish got a huge block, got a crease, almost busted free again. Miami leading 56-37, seven minutes away from going to the championship game again. McGahee flags down, might have a holding call, which we have not had on Miami today. It is a holding call against the Canes. On the ball, McGay, he could get the yards. 501 yards of offense for the Canes. Prior to the snap, false start, offense, five-yard penalty, remains first down. Nine inches of snow. Yeah, Wednesday it was snowing like crazy in Blacksburg, which is what they had hoped for last year in this game. And we second down at 20. McGay. Arts offensive line is going to get McGahee another 200-yard day or so, it appears. Third down. Grand old building, isn't it? Sure is. McGahee again. He had 204, so that's a personal high. And the six touchdowns, of course, as we've continued to mention, is a single game school record. Punt fielded by Hall at the six. Trying to reverse field. Needs a block or two. And he got out to about the 14. Heisman's coming up. We don't talk about it much, but it's the last game of the year. Mm -hmm. And now it's Randall inside his own five. Suggs on a draw play. Doesn't it? Yes. Maybe Marcus Allen. Yes. Larry Johnson, who we saw demolish Michigan State in a half alone, has got to be a guy that people are thinking about. John's talked about Byron Leftwich today for Randall. 
In trouble. Down he goes. Joseph. Ball's loose again. They blew it dead. Double majors in a uh, bachelor's degree and the masters. Uh, Miami's got two academic All-Americans on defense, Matt Walters and Jonathan Vilma. So they play a lot of good football. I'm not saying the other guys weren't, but they were a little more players involved in that group. Having said that, you have to mention Butch Davis is the name. And I, and I, I thought right there that was uh, big of uh, Paul to say that. Here's a handoff to Suggs. Suggs got an opening. And the senior captain goes inside the 20. And Miami now with two minutes and 15 seconds remaining on their way to their 12th straight victory. Across the middle, Wilford. And Wilford broke a tackle inside the 10. Trying to drag tacklers with him. Dan Fouts are waiting to bring you that one following our game. Here's oh, no, Suggs. I'm going to tell you. It's going to be a good one. Draw play. Suggs is in. Touchdown, Virginia Tech. You know, what Virginia Tech did in the last two minutes just just shows the character and the drive of Frank Beamer. Yep. What, what a good coach he is. Three wide receivers to the near side and Wilford to the left. And it's Randall trying to zip it in there. And he did. Two point conversion to Johnson is good. And the score looks pretty good. And you can tell there's probably going to be an onside kick coming up here too. And now here comes the onside kick. Trying to pooch it into Neverland. Perry's trying to run up on him, and he takes it on one hop. Took a perfect hop. In Blacksburg, when Miami was trying to get into the national championship game last year, they went ahead and like, kind of slacked off a little bit. But he's got some. He's looking around the orange ball. He's going to see yeah, He says, I'll see this again. Here's Jared Payton off tackle. Jared Payton into the open field, and he dropped the ball. And he may have covered it. And they are going to be Big East champs. We know they're state champs. They're the defending national champs. And they're going to get another crack at it. Can they add 2002 to the list? They've won five national championships in the last 19 years. They're going to go six. They're going to try six for 20. MPA La Fiesta. Let the big party begin because Miami gets to go again. They're going to the Tostitas Fiesta Bowl. A chance for another national championship. The house where 22 straight opponents have fallen. 34 straight wins for the national champs, and Swanee is on the field.